LDBC. Boy, I just thought, I don't need no music for this. Good grief. Uh, shout out to my boy Dennis Espinosa. Sometimes he'll drop an article on LDBCSports.com. And Dennis also did a live stream with me about a month ago. So uh, shout out to Dennis. Definitely, man. Appreciate him. Uh, good guy, man. Real good guy. Um, Dennis sent me this link, and I'll put the link in the description. Um, you can watch it. It's about three hours long, and I watched I watched most of it. But I actually skipped some of that opening stuff, and <laughs> I got to the good stuff. But, boy, when I saw John Jones standing for the National Anthem, I said, boy, they got him right by the testicles. I said, good grief. <laughs> Look, man, they didn't show John Jones any mercy, okay? They ain't show him no mercy, man. They, they look. They went, they went in on John Jones. They went in. This guy right here at the bottom with the glasses, with the circle around his head, he was the first one. You know, uh, John Jones was talking about, yeah, you know, I was younger back then. Yeah, I did some stupid things. And this guy said, wait a minute, John, you're only a year older this year. You know, he said everybody's older. He said the difference between us, you know, he said it to this, and I'm putting him on words. Jim, between us, you know, people learn from their mistakes, but you, you know, I, I'm not gonna give you that. You could have learned from your mistakes. You had plenty of time to learn. Like, man, this guy was going in on John. And you can see John Jones' face, man. John, Every time John says something, this guy was, he kept, like, debunking everything. He would just rebuttal everything. And John just had this stupid, he had this dumbass look on his face like, dang, you got me. Like, like, like the look that you see right now on the screen. That dumb look. And, you know, <laughs> John Jones ain't have a pot to piss in. That was nothing he, would, that was nothing he could say. What could he say? You know where well, I popped. You know, he ain't even using an excuse like, hey, man, my stuff was tainted. No. Dude was popped. And I think everybody know with John Jones, the jig is up. The jig is up. The jig is up. You know, it's up. Like, there's no way. There's no way that people are going to buy that his food was tainted. Because, you know, if John Jones would have said that, this guy at the bottom would have said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't know what you're eating? I mean, you're an athlete? See, I knew, this guy, everything John Jones said, it's like this guy knew what John Jones was going to say. Okay. And so then, you know, John Jones said, well, yeah, you know, during this time I ain't been fighting. I, I've definitely become a better person. So this little Asian lady said, how are you a better person, John? <laughs> and, and, and the little Asian lady, man, she was the one. She was the one, like, man, she was giving it to John Jones. I mean, she ain't cut him no slack. She looked at him and everything he said, she was like, nope, I ain't trying to hit that either. Like, but she said, how are you trying to be a better person, John? John Jones couldn't even tell, he couldn't even say it, man. He was stumbling over words. I start, I start rolling. I said, I'll be damned. You know, I said, I'll be a wet frog on a lily pad on a hot summer day taking a piss on the Yoanni and J-Check fanboys. I, you know, I, I, I got a dog, John. I, it just, it don't look good for John Jones. And then, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, what is the deal with John Jones' attorney? John need to fire this guy. And then, you know, they were, you know, when they started talking about, like, you know, start really talking about possible punishments for John Jones. When they start talking about the possible punishment, this little ball headed dude right here, y'all remember him? He was in the Chris Cyborg documentary when she was trying to make that weight. This dude right here, the head looked like a darn, uh, a hard boiled egg. This guy down here, okay? This guy. You know, he was saying, look, his whole thing's, look, I think we find him. You know, we find him like, what, $250,000 and find him for, you know, one or two years. Something like, I think he said a year, a year or two. He said, find him and let's, let's, let's find him and let's, let's suspend him for a year or so. So this guy basically was like, look, John Jones done made all his money and we need to take 40% of John's, you know, purse and for every fight that, you know, he tested positive in. You know, he was like, yeah, John made plenty of money. So I knew what this was about. It, look, this guy was like, show me the money. Okay, he was like, show me the money. <laughs> this guy, the ball hit it, the second ball hit the guy. I mean, he, he just wanted money. That's it. That's all he cared about. Look, find this guy some money. Find the guy 40% of his purse. I said, God, dog. Boy, <laughs> stick it to my pockets. Stick it to my pockets. Stick it to John. He was sticking it to John Jones' pockets. This dude sticking it to John Jones' pockets. But see, I thought that they were going to just settle with just him, you know, paying that fine. And then staying out for about a year and coming back. But no, man, they, they couldn't even make a decision. Look, man, this don't look good for John Jones. And then the guy at the bottom with the glasses, he told John Jones, you need to get a new management. <laughs> don't you think you need to surround yourself with better people? And you can see uh, one of the guys, you can see one of the guys who with John Jones, and I think it was his manager, man, dude, dude face dropped. Dude face dropped. Like he immediately got on the phone and started calling people. I said, God, dog. <laughs> hey, hey man this don't look good for john 
this does not look good. I, I I think, man, you know, from the way they're talking, John Jones might get two years probably, and they're going to find him, okay? And then they say that, you know, John Jones got to come back in front of the commission again. So John Jones got to prove that he can basically keep his nose clean. Oh, gosh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. This dude done, done sniffed a lot of coke. So basically, John Jones got to keep his nose clean, okay? And I guess they're going to give him a period of time, okay? They ain't give no time. They ain't say much anything. They convene and say, look, we finna have some lunch, okay? And so they're going to give him a period of time, and John Jones got to come back in front of that commission to prove that he's been keeping his nose clean, okay? I, man. And then John Jones had this look on his face when his attorney was talking. And I thought his attorney just made it worse, man. His attorney was like, well, yeah, I understand, you know, uh, you know, maybe John does need some time away. And John Jones did a double take, looked at his attorney like, dude, you fired. John Jones need to fire that attorney, man. He need to fire the guy. The guy's an idiot. And uh, he did nothing to help John Jones' case, man. He just kind of sat there. And then, you know, when they were asking John Jones a lot of important questions, I thought John Jones should not have been answering those questions. Some of the stuff, like the one, how are you a better person? Nah, man, nah. Should have let the attorney answer that one. Because, you know, John Jones, the more he talked, the more that they were just rebuttaling John. And the little Asian lady, oh, man, she was killing She was killing his ass. Like, there was nothing he could say right, man. Because every time he said something, she threw something right back up on him, man. I said, man, I was saying to myself, John Jones is dead in the water. There is no way. He ain't got a pot to piss in. Because, you know, she was like, yeah, Mr. Jones, you've been suspended before. You said you would change. And now, now you're here again with the same thing. Like, she just let him have it, man. And, you know, part of me, I can't blame him, man, because how many times are you going to F up? How many times are you going to F up, you know, for you to really get your crap together? How many times? Like, how many? I told y'all. I told y'all. I, I don't think I can think about was the Jackson Winkle John curse. That's all I can think about was that, Wink, that Jackson Wink curse. I told y'all that thing real. Look, man, I won't be surprised. If they find this guy $250,000, give him two years out, the Jackson Winkle John curse is real. They're going to get their money. Stick it to my pockets. Stick it to John Jones' pockets. Stick it to his pockets. Oh, they're going to get their money. they getting their money. And then some guy came up. And I guess they asked, you know, hey, does anybody else have anything to say? And and this, who, who, is, who is this silly bastard? Who is this popcorn pop tart fart? This guy. You know, this guy, he started talking. I'm like, this silly bastard. You know, and then as soon as he said, nobody paid me to be here, the first thing I thought is, man. Somebody paid him to be here. But they opened it up to the public, and I was shocked that this is the only guy, this is the only guy that was in this hearing that came forward. Like, this this is it. This is it. Like, where where are all the other people, man? You know, I didn't see Jackson or Wink in here with this guy. I, I, man, I already told y'all Jackson and Wink, they shady. Maybe they were somewhere in the back. I don't know, but they scanned that whole room. I did not see Jackson Wink in his whole entire uh, hearing. I ain't see them, you know? And you would think that they would come and support him, but pff, I, I don't know. I guess not. I guess they ain't supporting their, their, you know, their, their doper. I guess they won't do it. This guy shows up. And then, you know, what took the cake? Man, I about fell out my seat. This little old guy right here, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know, Father Time. He looked like if he sneezed, like if he sneezed real good, you know, it like his, his head and his arms about to fall off. This dude, you know, he like the damn Crip Keeper. This guy right here. Yeah, this guy right here, the Crip Keeper. Did, did he really just say that John Jones need help from Stephen A. Smith? Look up Stephen A. Smith, and he can train you on how to, how to man, I, I lost it. What, you, out of all the people, out of all the people, you know, and I get it. Hey, you know, he, he helps African-American men. Stephen A. Smith ain't helping no black people. Stephen A. Smith ain't doing nothing but talking about black people, tap dancing, doing all kind of stuff. I, I lost it when he said Stephen A. Smith. Are you serious? Look, man, look, Tales from the Crypt, that, that, that show been over, okay? That show been over just like that statement. I wouldn't ask Stephen A. Smith to, uh, you know what? <sighs> Look, man, I, I wouldn't ask Stephen A. Smith, even if I ain't have a dollar in my pocket, I wouldn't ask that old, I wouldn't ask old George Jefferson haircut for anything. Out of all the black men you chose, you mean you going to tell him Stephen A. Smith? Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> God, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, why didn't you tell him to look up Dr. Laeka? Dr. Africa Laker. How come you tell him to look him up? I mean, that's a brother. Why didn't you tell him to look up Dr. Tim Morrow? Hell, I, I, I'd have been okay if you said Dr. Louis Farrakhan. I'd have been okay if you said that. Nah, you said Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith don't represent black people. Stephen A. No, 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 no. But this don't look too good for John Jones. This really don't look good. 
And I, I think they're going to give him about a year or two years, and they're going to they're gonna find this guy about $250,000. That's what it looked like they're about to do. So John Jones, John Jones got to kiss some more butt and then show these guys that he can actually behave himself. <laughs> Good God. Oh, well, this is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm down. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.